Teresa, I had a message you wanted to see me? Yes. Nancy, where's your eye patch? Gone. Uh, yeah, Dr. Russell, she uh, gave Fancy a clean bill of health, so her eye is perfect. That's a relief. Wow, congratulations. Is she all right? She's a little upset. You know, we should just kind of give her some time. Look, um, I, uh, I need your help on these Nigerian oil leases. The numbers aren't adding up, and this is just way beyond me. <laughs> your wish is my command, grandmother. Oh, thank you. Nancy? Hey, not to butt in, but are you OK? I'll be all right. I'm sorry. I don't mean to cry like this in front of everybody. Is anybody going to tell me what's going on here? No, oh, it's kind of none of your business, Fox. It's OK. No, it's, it's all right. It'll be common knowledge soon enough. Um, I found Noah in bed with Maya. <laughs> Maya? Are you kidding? Do I look like I'm joking, Fox? All right. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, me too. OK, wait a second. Um, I know my brother more than anyone, and that does not sound like him at all. He would never cheat on anyone. Hello, I am not blind. Or at least not anymore, got it? They were there, in bed, no clothes. Get the picture? <laughs> well, there must have been a reason. That's what I keep telling her. No, like what? And if it isn't what I'm thinking, then what else could it be? Hey, Fence, why don't you take a seat? I'll get you some water, OK? Do you think we're just guilty of wishful thinking? I mean, usually when a guy is in bed with another woman, it means, you know, one thing. I know, I know, I know. But not this time. You have no idea how much my brother loves Fancy. She's made a new man out of him. Mm -hmm. Even so, if there is another reason, it doesn't really mean anything if we can't get the two of them to talk. Do you think that you should call your brother and have him meet you here? And then we could surprise Fancy with him? Yeah. Maybe we could lock them in the room together. Now you're talking. <laughs> that all about? OK, call my brother. Noah Bennett. Hey, Noah, it's Kay. Kay, hey, how's it going? Hey, um, is there any way that you could come to Crane Industries? I just need to talk to you. Yeah, why? Is something wrong? Oh, no, 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 no. Everything's fine. Um, it's about something special. You think you could come by? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. OK, good. I'll see you soon. <sighs> Let's hope this works. Okay, I'm being ridiculous. I'm sorry. I need to get out of here and go back to my office. You don't have to go right now. Well, sure I do. Teresa gave Fox all that work to do. Oh, <laughs> that can wait. Here, have some water. Oh, thanks. Um, what are you two up to? What? Nothing. What would we be up to? Uh, Kay, they, uh, they said you were in here. What are you doing here? With her? Did you know he was coming here? Yes, I called him. I figured you guys could talk. I didn't know he'd be bringing her, though. Just talk to him, Fence. Why don't you two butt out of my life? OK. Kay, why don't you and I go back to my office, and we'll let Noah and Fancy figure out their problems. Don't worry. This won't take long. Fancy isn't mad at us after this, but she has to work things out with my brother. Yeah, you know, I hope they can, but she found him in bed with another woman. I mean, that's enough to make anybody flip out. You know, just to find the person that you're in love with in bed with someone else, I mean, must have been a real kick in the gut. Is that why you were so mad when you saw me hugging Miguel last night? I was surprised, that's all. 
You know, but then I understood. I mean, my God. Miguel just found out that his dead brother was alive. And you were happy for him. Come here. What? Mm. I love you. I know you do. It's it's just that. Hold on one second. Sorry. Hello? Kay, it's Miguel. Miguel, what is it? Is Marie all right? No, she she has a fever, Kay. Ugh, no. You think you can come home and help me take care of her? Right now? You get her to come home right now. She needs to be with you, not Fox. Miguel, are you sure that I need to come home? I mean, I, I've got a lot of work to do here. Kay, she's sick. Well, I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. You know, babies get sick and, and they get better almost overnight. And you're there and your mom's there, right? Mama is. What? You tell her that I went to the, that I went to church to help with the spring bake sale. My mother's gone to church to help with the spring bake sale. Uh, look, Kay, I'm really nervous being alone with Maria when she's sick. Can't you come home? Honey, I know I just got here, but can I go home? Miguel is worried about Maria. She has a fever. Can't Pilar help him? She left. <gasps> Yeah, then sure, go ahead. Just keep me updated on I'm Rio, okay? Okay, okay. Okay, I'm, I'm on my way. Thank you. Is she going home to be with Maria? So she can spend time alone with Miguel. <laughs> 